Hello! Happy Monday evening! Here we go. I am live. Do 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 do. Testing one, two, three. Here we go. Do you need a spark? Do you need a jolt? You made it. Oh. I got to fit in my box. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yay. We made it. That was easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> I think we are live all the places. So, wow, share. I think it's been, I think it's been six weeks since we went live together. I know it's been a while. I'm so I'm so like happy we're back. <laughs> Look who's back. Back, mm -hmm. <laughs> Look who's back. Look who's back. Okay. Well, if they're wondering why we are here, we are here because we are so excited. We just wrapped up our motivate and break free, our first webinar series, and I think it it couldn't have gone better than what we got. I mean, just seeing how how the the change and the transformation that came out of just it just seemed like such a short period of time but it also was was so intense i think um we could definitely see already the changes happening the second week identifying things that were coming up in our lives and and holding us back and just getting to see um see like i remember one time sarah was like i actually caught myself and i could i could catch myself thinking and I was like, I'm not going to go down this, this thought hole right now. That's not going to help me and be able to, to make that change and then go a different direction right in it. Um, I don't know. What do you think? What was your, if you could wrap it up in, in a sentence, like how would you say you feel about, about motivate and break free? Do you feel ready for the next level? It was amazing. I just like, you know, it's always with, with different groups, you know, it, you always get curious, like what level of transformation is going to happen. And uh, with this group, I, I didn't really know what to expect, you know, and um, the transformation was amazing. Like I just, I was blown away by how, you know, when we were doing the groundwork in the first three weeks, it was like, it was difficult. Like we were, it was like blood, sweat and tears, you know, and then in like by the third and fourth week, I saw like these huge transformation transformations happening with thought processes of like catching our, you know, ourselves in certain patterns of thinking and being aware and, and then being given the tools to like how to, you know, handle that situation when you get into that pattern of thinking, like what can you actually do at that point? And then seeing the empowerment that comes from knowing what to do and actually applying, you know, those tools and resources to when those things happen and seeing, seeing people like just so empowered that way um, was just blew me away. So that that was the part that was like, very inspiring for me. I think um, the women discussed a lot about the um, the wheel of emotions where you know that chart where they felt very empowered that if they felt a certain way that they didn't have to choose right to all of a sudden like go from one extreme to another but there were like a series of um emotions that they can either scale up or scale down that was very empowering for them so that was um very interesting and then the other thing that they mentioned a lot, if you could talk about Jen, is like the habit, the action steps for the habits. And I, I know like they mentioned that a lot too. 
And so I was thinking about that and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to back up because I personally, I was so excited to get back on live and share again. I realized I should probably, we should back up and just say who we are <laughs> and kind of um, step backwards. I, realized I jumped into like just getting so excited and telling you what we did and how it went and what's coming next. Um, I'm Jennifer Hernandez in Northeast Pennsylvania. Um, I'm more mindset, health, fitness coach. Um, and Hisan is just over the border in New Jersey, amazing um, business coach and a trainer um, herself. Um, and we met on Instagram. I think Instagram is where we had our first in introduction. Um, and yeah, because we were starting to talk before we joined over here in Facebook world. And so we came together and we found that we both have a similar energy and a similar heart to help others. And so we came up with this idea, this um, me series idea where we get started with the motivate and break free and that was for if you're feeling stuck if you just can't seem to get going um, you're looking to take action and go somewhere and that we realized we could get a start somewhere get a start a groundwork a building in where where you're stuck what's holding you up and for the first series we just wanted to provide a safe place to start that uncovery and start that teaching and that lesson to bring us those next steps um, and then it really developed into okay well now uh, now that we've made progress and like you were sharing with the habits, it was so great how each week we were able to build on the identity. So first we had to start taking note of what are those habits that were holding us back? What are those negative thoughts? And I think just kind of looking at some of those statistics, I think that was in the first week where, you know, we think so many thoughts a day and 80% of them are negative. It's no wonder we end up not even giving ourselves a chance, right? And so often we end up saying, I'm sorry and apologizing for ourselves and, and stopping um, just because of how much we're holding all this negativity. And we kind of really, um, took that to the next level and we're able to pair it with, okay, now the next time that you find this thought, let's put it on trial. Let's ask it like, is this true? Is this really true? Is this something I would say to my best friend? You know, is this something that's helping me? Um, I think um, that was something we were really uncovering is a lot of times we just stay stuck where we are because we are looking at where we are instead of what could be that one next step and so then we were really setting up and talking about habits and we really started with redoing our our morning routines um looking when you're looking at creating something having that consistency in your life having that guideline having that routine is something that's really helpful especially when you're trying to start new habits and so we really kind of paired and worked together on that and i just think it was so fun like um one of the challenges was to go to sleep and not have your phone um in your bedroom next to you um, i don't know if anybody else is anybody else give me a one in the comments if you're guilty of answering an email or checking facebook in the middle of the night so like throw one in the comments if you have ever woken up in the middle of the night and checked your news feed or checked your messages and sent a message from bed um, so they know a lot of people were doing that and that was something where we realized it was kind of hanging us in our beds longer when we woke up and so i know the first time i think sarah realized she left her phone upstairs um she didn't even take it with her then when she went in the morning and she made it like a portion of her day without the um being tied down to her phone i thought that was neat to see how i really didn't need it and i had all this extra time i was able to do for myself um I'm excited. I don't know. Like, I forgot what I was going to say next. <laughs> you I mean, I threw a lot out yeah, there. Yeah, I, I started, you know, this series and this program with you because I found as a wellness and business coach that many women were struggling. Like, I wanted them, you know, to help them start a business or, you know, start their wellness journey. And then I realized, like, that they were still, what they needed more was, you know, that self-love care, you know, and, and self-awareness. So there was work to be done at the foundation level um, way before any wellness or business journey could even take place. And that's why I was so interested in doing this series with you. And when I saw the transformation happen to the ladies, in just a short time, you know, the first five weeks, I realized how important that is for all of us um, as women to really take the time to 
you know, explore and, mm -hmm. and, and know, and, you know, learn the resources and the skills about self, self love and growth. And that is the first step to, I think, any, anything else. So it's, it's just really empowering to see the sh transformation that can happen in such a short amount of time. And um, that kind of leads into the mission of live your passion, right? So live your passion is our the next series. So it's a seven week series that follows motivate and break free. And, um, you know, and we, we want to share our mission for that workshop with you guys. So Jen, I'm going to have you start with what your vision, what your mission is for Live Your Passion. So my mission really is, I think one of the things that kept coming up so much is how hard we are on ourselves, how hard and judgmental and just really, gosh, just really carry so much of of shoulda coulda woulda not good enough not worthy just really carry all that baggage and just my vision when you're leaving this when you're leaving this this series that you just leave and you can just like imagine just close your eyes for a minute just put your hands on your heart and like you're holding like a bouquet of flowers and you're just like radiating sun in a in a big field and and the sun is coming back at you it's, it's just that idea of just being free of that judgment of yourself, just being like unapologetically you, that you can actually accept who you are, that you can say, now I understand why I do that. And if I choose, I don't have to do that anymore, or I can keep doing it. And now at least I understand and I love it. And I, and I love who I am. And I just have this, just this, just like, just like light, like a light bulb, like just like where someone's looking at you the next day and you're at work and you're just radiating your life. Like, What's going on? What good happened? Did you win the lottery? Like, like, did you meet someone? Did you go on a date? What's happening? Like, do you know that? Do you know what I mean? When you see someone and they're just like, something's changed. Who are you dating? Who'd you meet? You know, but doing that for ourselves, like be that light, that spark for ourselves, that we can be that, that free for ourselves, that it doesn't have to be because of somebody else you know, that it's for ourselves and that we have the power then to, to turn that on and ignite that, like, just go with it. How about you? Yeah, it's along the same lines, you know, my mission for the women who continue and live your passion and go through our program. My mission is, is that they leave um, really knowing who they truly are, accepting and celebrating who they truly are and, you know, and not apologizing anymore to anybody about um, anything anymore. So, you know, I want women to leave Live Your Passion knowing themselves really well and um, loving themselves and knowing and having the tools and the resources to set appropriate boundaries with people and really just coming away like totally unapologetic, you know, and, and just accepting themselves fully so that whether it's a good day or a bad day or good things are happening or bad things are happening, those are circumstantial. And what's always going to be true is, is that who they are is, is enough. Like who they just being is enough. And that's what I want women to learn, you know, and step away with after this program. So I think what inspired this in me is, is that, you know, I've had people say to me, um, you know, oh, yeah, you know, self love, self care, I can just like hang out, you know, with my friends, and I feel bad better, you know, and to me, you know, having like receiving self love coaching myself, I know that's not true, because I think with everything else in life, like, we you know, when we start a new career, or we're interested in a new topic, if we're really passionate about growing in that subject, or, you know, in a new career, f career field, they, you know, they expect us to read about it, learn about it, get a certain amount of credits, you know, certifications and become educated about that topic, and then do the groundwork that it takes to gain that certification or gain that knowledge. And it's true with stuff that we're really interested in as well, you know, if we're really passionate about something, we'll buy books about it, we'll take classes on it and become more knowledgeable so that we can um, do it well. So 
there's no self-love is no different you know when it comes to the self-love journey there's work that's involved there's readings involved there's resources and tools and there's education involved and this is like real work that we all have to go through so just hanging out with friends is not doing the work that's necessary to really understand what where growth can happen um and i think that's what you know sparked my inspired me to have you know provide these classes with you jen is to you know have people understand that self-love journey is just like any other journey you have to put the work in you have to put the time in and you really have to focus on the topic at hand and that's where transformation comes from right uh, so it's not what people think it is it's not a lot of people think it's like oh you know it's like extracurricular you know indulgent kind of thing but it's really not it's a basic human need and everybody everybody should um go through this type of development and educate themselves in this topic that i think you hit on so many important points there and so uh, something that kind of jumped out to me is that and we are all different like we all have different metrics there's a a quote um about those those seen dancing are thought to be crazy by the ones that can't hear the music and so the thing is if you don't know what the vision in my mind is and what i want in my life and you see me doing something you're gonna like think i'm crazy for what i'm doing like what is she doing she you know i but you don't have that vision of what i want but then the second that you have that vision is where it starts coming out to like i think so much of the hurdle is not being aware and that that is a lot of the lesson and what you can learn from being with others on the journey and what you can uncover and learn from each other and then by also having that map and that path i talk about that a lot like if you do not live within vision distance of disney where you can hear or see disney you're not going to just jump in the car and drive to disney without a map and and having a map to follow will help you uncover some things but it's not going to be a one two three fits for everybody which is another reason we keep our our group, our class is small because we do a lot of personal, we do a lot of personal touches and directions based on what comes up and what's uncovered in the worksheets and in the in the sessions that we have. So we do have a smaller class size um, and there's only, I think only two seats left. Um, so right now, looking, knowing once you know, so for example, think about your car. Before I got a white Jeep, I didn't see any white Jeeps. I saw Jeeps, I knew what Jeeps were, I liked Jeeps, but I didn't see them. As soon as I started driving a white Jeep, and now all of a sudden there's three white Jeeps in my neighborhood. So what happened? What came first? Did we all go buy white Jeeps the same day? Or was it because I was aware now and paying attention that I'm noticing these white Jeeps? Um, and so it's kind of, that's what happens is once you're on the journey and you're working with us and you're working through the class and you're working through and kind of uncovering um which kind of i don't know do you want to give an introduction into what we're going to talk about the first week and and how that's going to come into play should we jump ahead there yeah absolutely um i feel since high school actually or even earlier middle school the women in my life are very focused on others meaning you know, their boyfriends or, you know, their family or their friends, you know, like doing enough for their friends or being enough for their friends or being enough for their boyfriends or being enough for, you know, this one and that one and the world and expectations. And this is the women that were surrounding me, right? And this was thought of as the norm. However, deep down inside, even in middle school, I knew that wasn't right. And the first week of Live Your Passion is not about being enough or doing enough for anybody else except for you. So the first week is actually going to be dating yourself and getting to know yourself and knowing why, what makes you tick and why you do the things you do. You know, it's the self-awareness and really diving deep into that. So I'm really excited because I've actually never experienced being in a regular group of women where they actually like focus on themselves and try to dive deeper and study and become more self-aware. Normally as women, I think because we're nurturers or we're thought of as 
givers, natural givers, when you're with a group of women, they're always talking about like, oh, my boyfriend and my husband and my family and my, you know, this and that and giving and giving and giving. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I think we also need to set aside some time to actually like give to ourselves and see who we are, we truly are and invest in ourselves. Um, and I see this a lot with different women in my life where they go from one relationship to another relationship to another relationship and they're not truly happy because they haven't spent the time that's necessary having a relationship and loving themselves. Do you, um, did you, did, did you have similar experiences, Jen? Oh my gosh, I was thinking that we <laughs> met a lot sooner than we thought we met. <laughs> I mean, that you're talking like right to me. You're, you're talking right to me. I mean, I have to be honest and it can come out, I think sometimes in such a small way of where do you want to eat? What do you want for dinner? I don't know. I really don't know where I want to go and what I want to enjoy. And is it that you really don't know what you want to eat? Or is it that you're trying to find out what the other person wants so that you can give them what they want instead of admitting what you want? And I, I think I spent so much of my life dancing with that, you know, you know, it's a recovering people pleaser, you know, you know, taking into that everybody else comes first and as long as everybody's okay, but then at what point is that being an authentic best self for them and for you? Because if you're not understanding who you are, you may be missing something that you're really great at. You may be missing something that is your gift to give this world. Um, I would have never thought of speaking or talking or helping like this this was not on my list of things to do in my life but because i started working on myself and leaning in and starting to share as i was going all of a sudden i found this joy and i love getting to do this i love getting to see when someone's like oh i can't wait to tell you what happened this week um this happened in my relationship and usually it would be really go down the hill and this is what i did instead or you know i uncovered this and i'm feeling good. I got my extra workouts in, you know, and just making that progress and getting to be a part of that spark and that light. And I would have never gone for or thought of it if I didn't get to know myself a little and, and find out. And, and this is just that next, that next level of awareness, because once you're aware, you can then start to identify just like, just exactly like you were sharing. How can this benefit me? How can I, yeah. how can I, how can I do better? How can this help me? You know, how can I, I think? Yeah, absolutely. And I love that. Um, I think once the goal is reached, right. And love your passion, which is realizing, I think many, many people in general, they don't, or let's talk about women, women in general, we don't feel worthy or we don't a sense like, feel a fulfilling sense of worth unless we see it in someone else's eyes. So like if we see that, you know, we're, we're, we're being loved and appreciated and we see that in someone else's eyes, like our husbands or our children or our friends, then we feel worthy and we feel loved. And then when we don't see it, we feel unloved and unworthy. And through this program, I want women to not have that sense of worth be dependent on anybody else except knowing that they're enough that we are enough because we we are who we are because we exist and god felt that we were um so special that he breathed us into existence and blessed us and just for that fact I want all of us to feel worthy um, and be worthy in our own eyes instead of look for our worth in other people's eyes. So that's, that's the goal. And, you know, the, the seeing that kind of transformation is so empowering, right? Not just for, for others who receive the course, but for us as well as, as the leaders, you know, we also level up in that way. And when you see women have that transformation, everything changes, you know, everything changes. It's no longer, 
oh, I don't know if I can start a business. Oh, I don't know if I can, you know, be healthy. I don't know if I can do this. And it's not like that anymore because now the sense of worth is coming from inside of them. So they're like on fire, you know, like the transformation is amazing where they're just like, I want to start a business. I want to, you know, do what's best for, for myself. I want to, I'm really passionate. Like I have goals. I want to achieve my goals. And they're like on fire. And because they're so lit up from the inside that everybody around them now senses this change and everybody around that surrounds them has to now go up and meet them at their new level. So this is, you know, it's, it's an amazing transformation and I'm going through it as we are <laughs> offering it to other women as well. So thank you, Jen. Um, meeting you was like a really like um, critical, I think, moment for me to spark, you know, spark that inspiration to have this series with you. And I'm so glad I did it because it, it's been in my heart for years. I just didn't really know how to get it started. But I'm so glad that I'm working with you and you're an amazing coach and you inspire so many women. And I'm just glad that we met and it was like, the timing was perfect. So I'm really excited. Um, Live Your Passion starts next week, guys, next and Monday. There's just two more seats. And I think just, if anything, if I could just add one more thing, and it's just course. inside of you and having that power for yourself instead of from outside of you is so important. I think just because we can't control somebody else, we can't control that they're going to be there tomorrow. I think, I think if any lesson we could take from the last year is that you, you can't count on that to be your source of joy. You can't count on someone else to be your happy and your source of joy. You can take joy in others. You can take joy and happiness, you know, in others, but your primary needs to come from here. And so we have a couple things for you. We have a mini challenge starting tomorrow morning in our private group. So there's a link up above or below, depending on where you're watching us from, that'll pop you into our private group. And we're going to like start a little mini challenge in there for you, give you a sneak peek. We have two more seats left in our Live Your Passion that kicks off next Monday night. So uh, that, if you want to check out the website, the landing page is also in the link. And I'm just excited. I'm so excited to see what what uncovers and blossoms from here forward. So with that, I don't have anything else to add unless you had something that you wanted to add, Hisan. I'm just so super excited for the challenge for Live Your Passion. We have two spots le left, like Jen said, and I'm just so like looking forward to having this girl group. It reminds me of um, when we were younger, middle school, how girls would get together and talk about like the boys and talk about our relationship with the boys. But now we're getting together and we're talking about re the relationship with ourselves. So this is super exciting and empowering. And I can't wait to see you ladies there. We will see you there. Add yourself to the group or check out the page. We'll see ya. Thanks. Bye.